were within the board's jurisdiction. Everyone is asked to present their comments in a respectful and courteous manner. Profanity or threats of harm will not be tolerated. Our first speaker tonight is Kurt Roars of Chandler talking about uh, parenting. Thank you. My name is Kurt Roars. I'm a parent in this district, and I'm here to speak to you tonight about parenting. I understand that district employees will undergo a renewed push for social emotional learning this summer during their teacher professional development classes. What seems to be missing in SEL doctrine is any significant emphasis on marriage, family, and parenting. It seems to be a very significant oversight. There is a deep concern that this is where many of the social challenges your students face actually originate. It should be addressed in a meaningful way. Instead, the emphasis often seems to be on de-parenting, in which the role which parents play in their children's lives is de-emphasized and replaced by counselors and social workers employed by the district. They assume the role of raising a child with whole child concepts that can emphasize child sexuality, racial oppression, and social activism. In the last few generations, we've gone from two-parent families as the norm to one-parent families, and now seem to be proceeding to the concept of no parent family where the state in the form of the student school assumes the role of raising the child. This concept, which is derived from Marxist doctrine, is about as ill-conceived as the defund police movement, which is rapidly losing popularity as crime increases rapidly in at-risk communities. The effective de-parenting doctrine could only serve to enhance the disintegration of the family as a basic social unit to the detriment of the community. Under current Arizona statute, parents have the right, as well as the responsibility, for raising their children as they see best. Parent perspectives are diverse, but must be respected. There is no one-size-fits-all solution based on state policy that could be successfully deployed. Schools are primarily, primarily responsible for the academic education of children. Although districts have significant resources available for social assistance, they should only assist with the full knowledge, consent, and participation of the parents. Districts should only have a supporting role and not a primary role. I encourage the district to adopt and promote policy, curriculum, and professional de development training that prioritize the importance of marriage, family, and parenting so that our children have a better foundation how to proceed into adulthood. It would be very helpful if the district publishes these teacher professional development materials so the public can see what you are doing and be seconds. comfortable with it. There really should be no reason to conceal anything from them. Thank you.